What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up a little stone fly. Um, I wanted to tie a nice little compact um, snack size, I guess you could say, stone fly for some coho. Um, so I've tied this little stone on a mustad. This is a um, egg hook, egg caddis. Um, CO68. This is a size 8. Uh, it's a really strong hook. It's a, a 2x heavy um, hook, so it's not going to bend out when I set the hook on these bigger salmon. Um, the thread I'm using is a Vivas a GSP. I'm pretty sure this is 50D in black. And the bead I have on here is just a 1/8. Um, lead, a uh, black lead bead. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just tying in the antennas. I like to keep the antennas relatively short. I'm just going to cut out these goose biots. And the color is chocolate brown. I'm just going to do a little whip finish right here. Tighten that down nice. Then I'm just going to bring my bead up, put it right behind there. And with this fly, I am not going to add any more um, additional weight, uh, mainly because I usually put a couple split shots um, under my indicator when I'm uh, fishing for uh, bigger fish like salmon or steelhead. So that's, uh, that's why I don't really need to waste any lead wire. So we're gonna be tying in the tails and we're gonna be using the same chocolate brown goose biot. And I like to put these pretty deep into the bend here. And I like to keep these a little bit longer than I would usually tie because stoneflies do have uh, pretty long tails. So I'm just going to tie these in one at a time just so I can kind of control how they splay. So you want these to splay away from each other like so. So I like to take those deep down into the bend. I'm a little bit further what I usually would. So I'm just going to cut those butts out start making a little bit of a body here. On this particular fly I'm going to keep the body pretty slim. So I'm kind of just building this up here. And for a body we're going to be using some um, Spam Flex, Flexi Floss, Flexi Flex, there's so many names for um, this material, but all it is is pretty much the um, the rubber material that you would use for like rubber legs and stuff. And this is um, black. And I'm not going to put a rib or anything. This is going to be straight body, but we are going to UV coat it so it's a little bit more durable. So I'm just going to tie this in, bring it down. Make sure this is all nice and covered, just like so. I'm just going to grab this, and usually um, I would put a lot of tension on it, like this, but I'm actually going to uh, not pull on it too tight, 
I'm almost just palmering it up and what that's going to do is going to make as you can see some nice segmentation and since I am putting this in pretty light I am going to um, coat it with some UV curing resin just to protect it since these uh, salmon have some pretty pretty nasty teeth I like to catch more than one fish on my flies so trying to make them as durable as possible so I'm just going to throw a little too whip finish in there now when I'm putting this I'm going to be using some Lumen Outdoors uh, fluorescing flow this is just a thin I'm going to put it on the body and as you can see you can't really see the segmentation anymore so I'm just going to get my finger and just kind of tap it what that's going to do is it's going to fold down into the into the ribs then it's just going to um, bind all together so I'm just going to grab my light here hit that for about 10-15 seconds we're going to be tying in the wing case and our wing case is going to be some thin skin this is color um, specs mini brown slash back black and I'll just show you the actual that's the uh, that's the color right there so it's kind of just like a brown then it's got some um, black specks in it I think it looks good it matches really nice with the legs and antennas so I'm just trying to get this right on top we're just going to go down into this body a bit and it doesn't really matter with this uh, extra piece it'll kind of get it uh, flipped over a bit so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little dubbing loop for the thorax I'm just going to bring my thread up to behind the eye and for our thorax we're going to be using a custom blend this is just hare's ear mixed in with a little bit of uh, black um, rabbit so it kind of gives it the chocolatey type color to it. So we're just going to put that in our dubbing loop, spin it up, and I like to put it in pretty thick because I pull a lot of it out. So I'll just kind of pull it first with my fingers to pull out anything that's hanging out with this 50D you can pull this uh, pretty tight here so I'm just kind of pulling out anything that's gonna fall out and you're kind of left with some nice strands and a nice buggy profile so I'm just going to wrap this forward until you get to the back of the eye or the back of the bead sorry I'm just going to tie that in come behind it a couple times and make sure it's tied in nice and secure As you can see, we got some real buggy stuff going on here. So I'm kind of just 
preening out this thorax, getting kind of half of it on one side and half on the other side. So this thorax is pretty much going to be act as legs as well. Um, but what I like to do is get a little bit of crystal flash. This right here is in black. And we're just going to tie in two little legs here. So when this is uh, wet, this, uh, this thorax will kind of will be wet. <laughs> but um, you're going to be able to see this crystal flash through it just a little bit um, as legs. So I'm just tying these in as I would um, any other legs. So just like a, a V. And I'm only making them as long as the back of the body. Just like so. Trim this just a little bit. Now I'm just going to get a little, more, a little bit more of this dubbing just to cover up these uh, ends here. Then we'll be able to pull our wing case over. So I just put a little bit right there just to kind of cover up any little imperfections from the dubbing. So I'm just going to grab this wing case pull it over pretty tight, cinch that down, some nice wraps, lift it back, get a couple in front so you know it's not going to go anywhere. Now I'm just going to cut this thin skin out. I'm just going to throw a nice four, five, six, Turn whip finish in there, seat that down really nice, and come in with another just a little four, four or five. Even though I am going to put some um, UV cure on top, I still like to get a couple nice wraps in there because I am going to be fishing for salmon steelhead with this, so. Um, keeping this together for as long as possible is definitely key. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this Loon Outdoors. This is in thick. I'm just kind of going to use this as my base coat. Build up a little wing case here. These hairs here, fibers, want to get everywhere. So, I'm just going to grab the light here, hit that for about 10 seconds, make sure it's all nice and cure. Now I'm just going to grab my fluorescing flow. What I like to do is I like to keep my light on while I'm doing this. So I can just kind of hit it fast because this stuff is, um, it's thin so it, uh, it moves pretty, pretty fast. As you can see that fluorescing flow is just popping now. They can come in with your bodkin, kind of just pick out that little collar you put in. If you really want to make this really buggy, you can put in some hen, hen feather right here. Just add some more legs rather than the crystal flash. But I think the crystal flash adds a little bit of, uh, well, flash. <laughs> 
um, to it while you're uh, fishing it because um, it kind of gets in with uh, with that hair's ear and it really uh, kind of just gives a little bit of extra lifelike to it. So I'm just kind of just pulling that out. Then you'll be good to go. So this nice little stone fly called the Midnight Intruder. Um, I just kind of came up with the pattern for uh, coho. I'm fishing coho right now and I just want something smaller. I'm just something not as long. Uh, more of a snack size uh, stone fly you could say. So tie a couple up, try them out. You can tie them in smaller sizes um, obviously for uh, just resident trout but uh, I tie them in these bigger sizes for steelhead because they, uh, they've been really munching on the stone flies right now. So I hope you liked today's video guys. If you have any questions, uh, any input, uh, drop that down in the comment section. Um, to see a whole list of the materials I used, uh, you can see that in the description. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did like this tutorial. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.